So, why am I sitting here holding a lantern in the dark instead of turning on the lights in the bedroom? Well, I'll tell you why. So the other night, uh, when Aaron and I went to bed, he was going to sleep, and I decided that I would just play a couple games of solitaire, you know, just to kind of unwind um, before bed. And I turned on a little book reading light that's built in here, and was playing my solitaire, and that was all great for a couple of minutes, I don't know, five, six minutes, and then the light clicked off. And I was thinking, well, that's pretty weird. I just put a brand new light in there. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm so tired. I'm just going to bed. So I went to bed and didn't think anything of it, of course, at the time. But the next day, we come to find out we have got no lights it at all now in the back of the trailer. And um, that includes the bedroom and the water closet. Isn't that special? No, it's not. So we, uh, here we are, using lanterns, because we haven't had a chance to get this dang thing fixed. In fact, I don't even have internet access right now, so uh, at least not on my computer. We've had all kinds of problems with Verizon all of a sudden, and you can't get through to them. In the meantime, we're going to try to figure out what on earth is going on. Um, I've done everything I could think of from um, like checking all the fuses with the fuse checker thingy that we ended up having to buy. I flipped all the breakers a couple times. I um, reset the inverter, but I don't think it's the inverter because uh, we still have 110 power. It's just the 12 volt lights that aren't working. So sadly, I think we may have an electrical short. That sucks. I've only been here a few weeks. Some lessons to learn here. We're learning all kinds of stuff. Stuff we didn't think we'd be learning in just a few weeks of moving in here. And we still don't even have our water pump hooked up. So we're still filling up the water with buckets. I got the water pump yesterday, but we haven't even looked at it. It's like, ooh, we're still dealing with other issues. So hopefully we'll get this thing figured out We'll let you know what it is. So hopefully, you know, maybe this could help somebody to avoid whatever's happened or how to fix it. I don't know. Um, or we'll just call our friend Steve who helped us move the trailer over here because it seems like he and our neighbor Jim, when they work on the, the trailer, things just go great. They do the same things that I do or even Aaron and it works for them but not us strange anyway once again fingers crossed and hopefully we'll be out of the dark very soon <sighs> thanks Janeway I don't like being in the dark okay we got our sofa there's Aaron hi totally in pieces okay but that's how having it in pieces like this means it doesn't get stuck in the door for an hour. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's very nice. I appreciate that. I know, right? Yeah. So here's the thing though. We don't have a drill and we're going to need a drill. So I, <laughs> there's always something. So I think we're going to have to go to Lowe's and get a drill and then come back and someday we'll have a couch. Someday. Well, today is that someday and guess what? We do need a drill. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
<laughs> uh, well, how's it going? How many? How long have we been doing this now? Filling buckets? A week, at I least, would say. I'd say at least a week that we've been doing this. I'm definitely over it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we were saying, oh, this is so much fun. I really enjoy this. I mean, it's all good, of course, because this is what we have to do at the moment. <laughs> Truth of the matter is, I'm freaking cold. I'm freaking tired. We need water, yo, so I'm, <laughs> I'm handling business. <laughs> That's yeah. it. That's all I got, basically. Yeah, if you want to take a shower tonight, we I need to do. put like 10 buckets of water in, right? I need a shower, and I want a shower. Therefore, I'm putting shower water in to take a shower. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. Ding, 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 folks. <laughs> and the sun's already gone down. Here comes the exciting part. I'll trade you. Thanks. I, I have to hold this up so that the um, water... It doesn't, uh -huh. doesn't pour out. It won't go into the trailer, but it'll go like right here anyway. This is only bucket number two. I think we need to do like 10, I think. Because we need, it's almost empty and I think and we need to do showers and uh, well, the toilet and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's dirty! We're on bucket number six. We were gonna do ten. <laughs> that's not, not that's not gonna happen. We're done. We're done doing this. It's getting close to nine. Past his bedtime. Been out every night. Not getting enough sleep. Yeah, I'm pretty wiped out. I need to get in bed as soon as possible. And, uh, we didn't really need water. It would not happen tonight. <laughs> and that water pump thingy, that's going down tomorrow night. I don't give a what has to happen. We're putting that water pump on because these days are done. Stick a fork in me. I'm finished, seriously. <laughs> later. <laughs> Good night. Okay, we're outside. Just got done with the water. Watch your head. And, uh, looks like somebody tried to steal our gas can. It's freaking ridiculous. So ridiculous. We're in the middle of a field. I mean, lots of people drive by here on this to go do their four-wheeling and their motocross stuff. Apparently someone saw that we had a gas can and tried to steal it. And we've got we've got tire tracks going through our yard. So it had to have been some sort of like an ATV or something. So we're hiding the, the gas can in the bin. And uh, looks like we're gonna have to get some sort of security system now. Kind of ridiculous that somebody would risk going to jail for the chance that there might be seven dollars worth of gas in a gas can. That's pretty crazy. Let's uh, let's go have some dinner. Yeah, you ready? Yes, I'm hungry and I'm tired and I'm ready for bed. All right, let's do this. Somebody left their trunk open last night or their hatchback and there are looters in there. <laughs> There's one in the back right now. Here he comes. There's one in the back of the car. Oh, there goes the other one. <laughs> they must have bought groceries. Uh, don't buy groceries and then forget to close your trunk. Uh, yeah, I think I better get out, stop filming and laughing and actually call the neighbors and let them know that their car is being destroyed by ravens. That's hilarious. Oh, it's, it's funny because it's not me.
Hey, okay, so it's the next morning after we got the couch delivered and it is in pieces still. And we were just too tired last night after we went to the store and bought a drill so that we could, so that we could put the thing together because we don't even own a drill. Well, or we didn't own a drill. Um, I'm not really a driller, so we'll see. But it was so late last night when we got back from the store, we picked up some Chipotle, then we had to go outside in the dark and fill up our our water tank or put a few buckets in so Aaron could take a shower <laughs> and we were just too tired it was we had to go like straight to bed so the sofa is still in pieces so now I'm going to actually read the directions here these are the directions I'm gonna I don't want to screw up the new sofa the new used sofa so um I'm gonna attempt to put it together let's see how this goes um uh, I'm all by myself here, but I'm a, I'm a pretty smart for a girl, so I think I can do it. We shall see. I don't care about the safety stuff. Who cares about safety? I already charged the battery last night. Cleaning? I'm never going to clean this. It's a tool. Who cleans tools? Okay, I don't know what a belt hook's for. I won't be wearing it. Ah, trigger switch and forward, release, reverse, button, adjusting torque control, that sounds important. LED work light, oh, that sounds fancy. Screw driving, drilling, okay. So I think I found the section that I need. And yes, I'm still in my clothes from yesterday because like I said, we were tired and I just got up and it's morning and I haven't showered yet and I'm gonna just go for it. I'll shower later after we get the water pump hooked up. Hmm. Well, this is just great. So I'm trying to, I read the instructions, trying to get started. Do you see any problem with this? Yeah, it's missing the piece off the front. See the side right here? Well, now look at the picture. You see this right here? This little piece, right there. It was not on the drill. And without this little piece, how do you keep the pieces from falling out? How do you, it just doesn't work. All the pictures and all the diagrams show this piece that holds the, the drill bits and the screwdriver bits. So I can't even I can't even get started. And I can't leave because I have a new phone coming because I still can't get on the internet because and Verizon won't answer their phone three days trying to get through to them and they call you back and then there's you know nobody on the line. I don't know what's up with that. My phone's being crazy. So here I sit with a couch in pieces and a brand new craftsman drill that's missing a piece. And I can't really do anything in the house. Um, maybe I'll go outside and cry. No, there'll be none of that. I'm sure there's something I can do without the internet, right? I'll think of something. Um, I'll call Aaron. Aaron will know what to do. Take a minute, right, honey? Okay, so we're 
we're putting the furniture together. It has been quite an ordeal. Yeah, like I said, it's been quite an ordeal. There's the other piece. <gasps> I keep wanting to get the house done, but man. Been to the store three times just to get a drill that worked, right? Or that we understood how it worked. Yeah. Then we got trying to put this thing together, huh? We're almost done. <laughs> Actually, I think we are almost done. Finally. Hello, little teeny tiny bunny. He's the tiniest bunny I've seen in a long time. exciting day of our lives. Oh, water, beautiful water. <laughs> We're about to have some two yummy dinner, okay. too. Can't okay. wait, it's a perfect day. 12 feet by 12 feet, yeah. 12 feet by 12 feet. Thank you. 